There are some really cool routing features that have been added to Altium Designer Release 10, and Altium Designer users keep telling us that its PCB editor is right up there with the so-called high-end PCB layout tools. So we took a step back and realised that so much development's been done in Release 10 and the past few releases that we needed to make a video about it. So I want to take just a few minutes and run through how a PCB can be interactively routed in Altium Designer Release 10. Some of these features and methods are new to Release 10, but each tool, option or mode I'm going to show you has its place in making the job of routing a board not just efficient, but empowering and enjoyable. First, let's have a look at basic routing and conflict resolution. This is inevitably where you would spend much of your time, trying to get a route from point A to point B without creating shorts, crosstalk, unwanted radiation, whatever. So the principal thing is to have rules-driven routing tools that avoid conflicts. Once your rules for clearance, width, impedance, layer restriction, topology, etc. are configured, the basic way to route a board is simply point and click. Even just manually routing a board is made easier by the fact that the net lines guide you along the way, and as you go, the DirectX enabled highlighting makes it easy to see, even when you're dealing with multi-layer boards where you're going. With the simple Shift S, you can cycle through single layer modes, grayscale, monochrome, and hide other layers. You can change layers with a single keystroke, or better still, with the mouse wheel. You can also change layers without placing a via, just in case you started off on the wrong layer. And if that wasn't enough, you can also switch to the opposite end of the connection, mid-route, to effectively make the connection meet in the middle. And given that most designs need parts on both sides of the board, we need to be able to flip it and work from the other side. There's no reason why any PCB editor worth its salt can't flip the board. Not only that, it's now possible to drop in a via without changing layers, and then keep routing. This is great for fanning out passives to planes. And with another keystroke, you can cycle through routing corner styles, including 45 and 90 degree arced modes, and on the fly you can adjust those arc radii with mill precision. Of course, any angle routing is also an option. Also, draw polygon pores outlined in exactly the same way as drawing traces. No need to learn so many separate shortcuts. Now that's all fine, but there's a number of tools and routing modes that make it super fast and easy, especially with regards to observing design rules. Let's look at traditional collision avoidance, for example. That's good, but walk around mode is even better. And better still, enable the follow mouse trail option. Toggling the follow me mouse tracking with the five shortcut gives you even more control over where the trace is laid. This is an intuitive, highly precise way to get traces around scores of vias and component leads. If you want even more flexibility in your routing, enable push mode. This mode lets you route in close to other track work and really optimise the available real estate even more. And while you're in push mode, if there's a track in the way of an existing via or component pad you're trying to route to, pushing towards that via will make the conflicting track jump over to the other side. That is so cool! Hug and push mode is especially great for getting around BGA fanouts and surface mount package leads. Also, if you're in hug and push or push modes, you can enable via pushing as well. Now it's a whole lot easier to get that track out of the weeds. Excuse me, stand aside, pardon me, coming through, excuse me, pardon me, move through. The best thing is that along the way we added support for high speed technologies like differential pairs, and these routing modes work seamlessly with those as well. With dedicated design rules for differential pairs and pair classes to follow, setting up and routing high-speed designs is easier than ever. Even while you're routing single traces or differential pairs, you can tune the length of the route for length matching or precise delay line creation on the fly with Shift A. Or if you prefer, do the length tuning as a post process. A big part of any routing job is, well, getting the job done, so we put in completion tools like 
loop removal, which works through multiple PCB layers and also with differential pairs. And this one is awesome, automatic completion, invoking topological auto-routing algorithms with a simple control click. And that works with diff pairs too. If you have some tracks and pads aligned and close together, then subnet jumpers will finish off the job for you. These are especially good when you've been using the pin swapping capability of Altium Designer. But hey, I've put the cart before the horse there. I should be talking about starting the routing job. Take a look at this auto route fan out pass. And if that wasn't enough, the interactive routing tools have been extended most recently with some amazing multi-routing capabilities. Selecting a set of pads or even an existing group of traces as a starting point, you can route them in parallel. And even after starting to route these guys, you can change the spacing between them. Just hit the tab key and adjust it in there. In fact, you might want to diverge the spacing somewhere along the route you're taking. Watch this. But it gets better. You can change layers with proper via styles and spacing too. You can toggle via patterns while you're performing this action with the 5 key. But we can't stop there. We have to be able to complete these multi-routes as well. Again, just a control click away. And just like it is with single and differential pairs, you can change corner styles with multi-route too, including 45 and 90 degree arc modes. And changing the arc radius using the comma and decimal shortcuts while you're routing, or you can do it afterwards like this. And now even the loop remover works with multi-track routing. So you can see the PCB editor in Altium Designer has really come a long way in the last few releases, particularly in release 10. And with the addition of smart data management tools, true real-time PCB collaboration and mechanical modeling, it's obvious that Altium Designer is a robust, fully fledged, seriously powerful, but easy to use PCB design solution. And the best thing is, you don't have to buy any expensive add-on modules for these features. They're all part of the custom board implementation license in Altium Designer Release 10. <music> <laughs>